Okay, in this example we're going to find the area of the surface defined by rotating this curve about the x-axis. So we're revolving it about that x-axis. Surface area we've been denoting by capital S. What is the area of the surface? Well, it's the integral from x equals 0 to x equals 2. 2 pi times the y value along the curve, because we're revolving it around the x-axis, times the arc length differential. Again, notice I'm just going straight for the form of the integral that gives me the surface area without at this point focusing on is it a parameterized curve, is it just a regular curve. Um, I'm not worrying about that just yet. I'm writing down what the form of the integral has to be. Now I say, okay, I'm dealing with a parameterized curve, so make sure we express it in terms of our parameter t. So we're going from x equals 0 to x equals 2. That's corresponding to t equals 0 to t equals 1. 2 pi times the y value. The y value is 3t squared. The arc length differential. That's the square root of the derivative of the x function squared. What's the derivative of the x function? That's 3 minus 3t squared plus the derivative of the y function, which is 6t all squared times dt. So there's the integral that we have to work out. Do a little bit of simplification here. I notice that I've got a factor of, let's see, what are the factors? I've got a factor of a 2, a 3, and I've got this 3, there's a factor of a 3 in that 6. I've got a factor of a 3 in the first term, which when it comes out of the square, it comes out as a 9. I've got another 3 in that second term, which comes out of the square as a 9. So I can pull that 9 out of both of those terms. And I can pull the 9 right out of the square root as a 3, because that's the square root of 9. So I can pull a 2, a 3, and another 3 all the way out front, which gives me a total of 18. 18 pi from 0 to 1. And what was left over? There was a t squared. What was left over in the square root? Well, I already pulled out the factors of 3 from that first term, plus I pulled out the factor of 3 from the next one. Okay, so this is 18 pi times the integral from 0 to 1, t squared, the integral of 1 minus 2t squared plus t to the fourth plus 4t squared dt. So I'm just expanding. I notice that these two combine together. They combine together very nicely to give me the square root of 1 plus 2t squared plus t to the fourth. And that What's under the square root sign is a perfect square, so that becomes 1 plus t squared all squared dt. And so since it's a perfect square, I can get rid of the square root of that thing squared and just replace it with 1 plus t squared. Really, I'd need to replace it with absolute value of 1 plus t squared, but that's already a positive quantity, so I can get rid of the absolute values and just leave it as a 1 plus t squared. Beautiful, because now this is just a polynomial that we need to integrate. So that's t to the fourth and dt. So it's t squared plus t to the fourth dt. That was 18 pi out front. The antiderivative is a 1 third t cubed plus a 1 fifth t to the fifth from 0 to 1. And so this becomes 18 pi 1 third plus 1 fifth. And so simplifying that down, we get 48 pi by 5 as our answer. And so there's the area of the surface that we get by rotating that curve about the x-axis.